So this is the inside of that Ford rotor. I was beating the tar out of it. Oh, there's a monster drink. Um, with a framing hammer, it's the biggest hammer I had that could get a swing at it in order to get that rotor off. Um, and it did not budge. You can see right here where it was rusted in. The connection, I had it soaking with that penetrating oil. Um, and here is the cool trick on how to get a rusty rotor off of any kind of vehicle. Uh, this is a Ford F-250 diesel Super Duty. That rooster's over there laughing at me. Uh, here's the parts I bought in order to make this contraption work out. Okay, these are the screws I picked up at Ace Hardware. Uh, it was closer than Home Depot. Usually I do go to Home Depot just out of habit. I wanted grade eight bolts, but they didn't have them um, that had long enough threads. So the grade eight bolts only had about an inch and a half of thread. So these are metric, they're uh, 8.8s, which a 10 in metric is a grade eight equivalent. These happen to be strong enough, so they worked out. Here's how you assemble it. Let me uh, hit this on pause. Okay, so there's our little contraption assembled. Uh, what you want to do is, you, once it's in position, and I'll show you the rest of the video exactly how to get it in position, but you want to loosen this up to where this is all flat. So that's just a big flat pushing surface against the rotor, okay? Um, and then the caliper portion, is gonna be where my fingers are. Don't mind my greasy fingernails, they're kinda nasty. And then you're gonna use a wrench to turn uh, either the screw right here by my pinky or this one to force the bolt out, okay? So you're gonna use this to push against the caliper. These washers are there to keep it from uh, squishing into the caliper uh, bolt hole. That's why you want grade eight. They're super strong. As you compress this or this one, it's going to extend our end here. As that pushes out, it's gonna push that rotor off and it's gonna break that rust seal and you'll hear it. There's a couple spots in the video, I'll be sure to point it out, where you can hear the rust break free. Then you're gonna turn the rotor 180 degrees, do it on the other side, and that'll push the rest of the rotor off. It'll pop on that side as well, and then it'll be loose, you can pull the rotor right off. And that's your trick for uh, removing a rusted on rotor. Total time saver. I beat the living snot out of that ro other rotor with uh, a pretty good size framing hammer for about half an hour be before I decided to go to the hardware store and get this stuff to do it this okay, way. So these are rusted on big time. Right in here is where their uh, rust is connected. So I got this penetrating oil. They've been soaking. And I set up this contraption, super awesome. What you do is you take that nut and you spin it to where it's tight against the rotor. And then you take this nut with the washers and the bolt, and I'm gonna tighten those. It's gonna push the rotor out. I've got one down here as well set up. So now, I'm going to crank those out and eventually the rotor is going to pop loose on this side. We'll turn it and then we'll do it again on the other side. It should be loose. So doing this without looking is awesome. That's 
the sound we want. Now I'm going to loosen him, turn the rotor, and get the other side of the rotor. up spin this around find the part of the rotor right there that's still tight tighten them up again these are huge rotors small car this would be real easy close to being off. I'm going to try this ratchet end. Perfect. And there we have the rotor. You can see where I tried to smack it off with the hammer and it did nothing. The penetrating oil helped, and this trick is the magic. So, you're just using this as a big flat edge against the rotor, and then as you tighten it, it pushes the rotor off. Super cool trick. Give this a shot, share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching, have a great day.